Chairs No Waiting, episode number 110. Jackie Joseph interview, part three. Two Chairs No Waiting is brought to you each week by Weaver's Department Store at weaversdepartmentstore.com. Drop by Weaver's. they got all kinds of great things for uh, Christmas or any other time when you're wanting to give something to a Mayberry fan in your life. So drop by weaversdepartmentstore.com. Two Chairs No Waiting is also brought to you by donations from listeners like you. Tonight's executive producer of Two Chairs No Waiting is David Morris. David, thank you so much for your support. We couldn't do it without you. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Two Chairs No Waiting. I'm your host, Alan Newsom, and wow, it's great to have you with us. It is uh, it's great. We've been having a great time the last two episodes talking uh, with Jackie Joseph, uh, the interview we did on the uh, Mayberry Cruise, the fifth annual Mayberry Cruise. And there's going to be another one next year. Don't know who the uh, cast member that might be going with us, if we'll have one. But uh, it's definitely worth coming. So if you get a chance and you can go on the Mayberry Cruise, you can check that out. Uh, we'll have a link to that information at the uh, show notes at twochairsnowaiting.com and for this episode. So you'll be able to click that and go and get information about going on the cruise with us. And you can be a part of this, too, and just have fun and enjoy yourself. Uh, just visiting with all kinds of Mayberry fans. All right. Well, I'm not going to, as I did last week, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail up here in the beginning of the show because you guys already can go back and listen to the last two episodes and catch up and you know what we're doing. We're having our fun with uh, Jackie. And uh, this episode, wow, we get to hear several things because she's going to talk about more of the episodes that she was in on stuff like uh, Mikhail's Navy, The Monsters, F Troop, Wild Wild West. Danny Thomas show and this week she's going to go in and tell us a little bit about the time she had on the Andy Griffith show uh, I should go ahead and tell you upcoming weeks we're going to have question and answer session where she's going to be answering questions from the audience and other and, uh, and some movies that she was in she'll be talking about the next two weeks but this week that we have this great show lined up for you with Jackie so uh, without any further waiting and my blabbing along let's uh, let's join Jackie so here's Jackie uh, you're on McHale's Navy with Tim Conway and I was. Ernest Fortnite. It was very interesting. Tim Conway and Ernest Fortnite. Tim used to, Tim kids around with everybody, but he kidded Ernest Fortnite, and Ernest didn't think he was funny. So he showed him. He went into his dressing room, and nobody ever saw him except when he came out to shoot the scenes. He never got over just hating Tim Conway. Really? Uh, he was. He just. He just couldn't take it. It was like if Andy didn't like Don Knotts. You know, they, he never got the working together and the fun of it. But, I mean, he was a nice man, always nice to me. But, um, and Tim, I went on the road with. Yeah, I wanted you to tell that. Yeah, we, uh, Kim, Tim Conway decided to do a comedy act. And he was doing some of the sketches that he had done on the Carol Burnett show. And he, he decided to have a woman play the roles that Harvey had played. So I got to be Harvey on the road and uh, do the dentist sketch. I, I was the patient while, while Tim was, you know, Novocaining himself all. <laughs> and um, it was interesting how that translated to an audience in the big, big Las Vegas nightclubs. You know, it was. Quite, quite fun, and we opened for Steve and Edie, so that that was a good time. Oh, wow. Just traveling around, wow. yeah. being Harvey, watching Steve and Edie, just. And of course, T Tim's got that tie-in with Don Knotts that we, you know, from the. That's right. You know, from, like, the, uh, from the Apple Dumpling Games yeah. and the uh, Spies. Uh, they were very good together. Things like that. Two really good actors. Uh, yeah. yeah. They, Friend, good friends too. Yeah, I always thought it was funny that Don Knotts played uh, the straight man for Tim Conway. I mean, you know, as Don Knotts was such a good comedian well, to play the straight man. So. It, it really was just being good. Uh -huh. Oh, it was yeah, good. Just... Now, let's see, you were also on uh, The Monsters. And speaking of you, speak, you're talking about oh, the, yeah. Monsters. You ever the Monsters. The Monsters. I remember that. I played a dental patient, and the dentist was Don DeLuise. <laughs> and. <laughs> It, it was early in Dom's career, and he was talking to me, just some strange actress that he was going to do dental stuff on. <laughs> Not really, but uh, but and he was saying, 
I, th I think I'm going to get married. Do you think I should? And I thought, well, you know, how, I guess I'll just tell him to go ahead and get married. <laughs> I don't want to just say, I don't care. Uh, but uh, he did get married. The darling, darling man, wonderful wife, and uh, now he has the successful children to follow in his sweet footsteps. <laughs> well, you were on F True, and uh, yes. <laughs> and and there was also on here uh, I found out you're on the Wild Wild West with uh, was it Robert Conrad and that right? But you were only you weren't even credited on that. You were called the girl smooching with renegade on that episode. <laughs> I was. In fact, it. It used to be in the movie, didn't it? That great big kiss with the... Uh, oh, who, what's the name of that wonderful man I love? No, on... On Wild Wild West. He's not paying attention. Yeah. On Wild Wild, Wild, Wild West. Ross, Ross, Ross something, wasn't it? Played Artemis Gordon. Ross, Ross Martin? Yes, Ross Martin. Thank you, Ross Martin. I'm going to give you a prize. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she, she does have a prize for you. Congratulations. This is like a trivia contest we're doing. This is good. <laughs> uh, I just, just remembered I had some prizes. I was going to auction them, but I'm going to give them to you. Do, do you have any children in your family? Okay. This is a little thing that you can... You, you have to screw, it's a giraffe, and it goes, and, and, and listen, turn around now, what, what's your name? Noel. No. Okay. We got this, uh, remember it was in uh, Lugano, we were at a hotel in beautiful Switzerland, Lugano, and someone invited us to this party, and it was the anniversary of the pill. And they had, <laughs> it was, it really, and we just thought, that is the most bizarre thing. So they're having a big pill party. And, and this was one of the little things that they gave people, plus a, a lot of other little round toys. <laughs> but uh, enjoy that with your grandchildren. Okay. <laughs> Uh, boy, giraffes are selfish, by the way. Yeah. Well, it, 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 Ross Martin would appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs> nice man, too. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, Danny Thomas show? You were on the Danny Thomas show? Well, yes. In fact, I played several people uh -huh. on the Danny Thomas show. And here's a funny thing. The guy who played my boyfriend on the Doris Day show is the same actor that played my... Uh, husband on the Danny Thomas show and he is my own husband's former brother-in-law and he, his name was Sid Melton he was a crazy little guy with dark hair who oh, talk like this. and he still talked like this except he's always saying what did you say what did you say but, <laughs> but I say that a lot too but there's a whole lot more we could talk about. But we're going to try to watch the episode, I believe, that you were on, on the Andy Griffith Show okay. with Ernest T. So let's talk about that real quick. Uh, okay. What was your experience uh, working on the Andy Griffith Show? A lot of these folks may have heard that. But well, you know, it, of course it was a highlight of life, but even before I knew it. It was a very exciting job to get. And, and uh, I think a lot of people know that, like, just after the first reading, I, it was the highest happy I ever had in a long time because after we read it Andy was saying where have you been hiding you're so wonderful you're so funny and I'm thinking <laughs> and uh, someone came in with a radio and informed everybody that John Kennedy was shot and that's where we were and during the whole shooting of the show you know we took a break you know for that long sad weekend which it is about the 50th anniversary of that also, coincidentally. And the 50th anniversary of the Little Shop of Horrors, so <laughs> really full of anniversaries. Anyway, it was a happy experience. The first time I jumped over the, uh, the, the famous leapfrog experience, the back of my little dress caught on the back of this tree stump, and I went flat on my face. 
And um, of course, I was embarrassed, but luckily not uh, wounded too much. So I just went back and did it again. And so it's a little more demure. I guess I really went for it the first time. You know, I've, I've never done that before, so I didn't know <laughs> the perils of wearing a dress when you're doing that. Yeah, probably not a lot of people have done that. Oh, but e everybody was so sweet. And Andy was laughing every, all the time he wasn't on. He, he so enjoyed everybody. And of course, Don struck him so funny. Don could just be standing there and, and he'd be thinking what Don was thinking and just be hysterical. And uh, the, the happiest bunch of guys in the world. And it, it, it's like you guys. You know, you're all just happy fans, and you're the reason that, that we're even here. And because you carry the spirit of the show with you. And, and uh, you know, the players, those of us who are still left, are, are so honored that your appreciation is up there. It's really sweet, sweet, wonderful, sweet, and, and never ending thank yous for it, really. Ah, there we go. That's, uh, I mean, Jackie is such a wonderful lady. It's uh, so fun uh, being there in the room. Uh, if you heard, uh, she gave away the, uh, she gave a gift away, gave a prize to uh, Noel. That was Noel House. He uh, he was uh, answering all kinds of questions during the whole thing. When She would think of somebody and couldn't think of their name, and he was yelling it out from the audience. And so she gave it to him. Now, she mentioned that she was going to have an auction, and uh, I believe... Uh, I talked about that in the first episode, but she gave she's given money to, oh no, I'm not going to get right, actors and others for animals or something like that. I believe is what the name of it is, and we'll uh, we'll try to get a link to that as well, so you guys will know. But that was what she was making the uh, the money for, or uh, raising the money for. So she uh, so she uh, she definitely had a, a good time there and enjoyed herself and enjoyed the cruise and I, and I just can't tell you how much the uh, audience was enjoying the cruise as well so that's uh that's about all we've got for you this week folks so we're going to uh cut this a little short and actually get out of here before 15 minutes uh, and and we've got two more episodes with jackie coming up i want to hear from you guys if you would give me a call if you've got any experiences with jackie or any of these uh things you're hearing in these interviews trigger memories we would love to hear your comments about that and your voice about it. So uh, we'd love to hear from you. So you can uh, call me at 888-684-8415. Or you can drop me an email at floyd at mayberry.com. Or you can uh, leave a note at the show notes at twochairsnowwaiting.com. Or finally, you can go over to facebook.com slash twochairs and leave messages there. Now, while you're there, you'll want to check out pictures. If you're actually on the video stream of this podcast and watching us, uh, you, you see the pictures that we're posting over at the Facebook page. There they are. So uh, while you listen to this episode, you can flip through the pictures and look at images of things that she may have been talking about during the, during the podcast. So you can drop by over there. You can either you know listen to the show while you're doing it, or you can just look at them uh at, when you're back online if you're running around with your ipod or something all right well that's it that's it folks and uh hey i appreciate you guys coming i appreciate you taking your time out of your schedule to spend some time with me here in mayberry and we got two more episodes coming up the next two with jackie so uh look forward to that and i hope you do and we'll be back next week with uh more two chairs no waiting your mayberry podcast see you next time guys bye